In this video, Dana Hatchett's going to discuss playing with color, a simple process to get your eyes used to looking at color as an interesting phenomenon. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. What this is about is the fact that color does not have to be all highly disciplined and organized. I made a board here because it's the size of the paper that I'm using, okay? And I reinforced it in the back so that it's solid, okay? And what I use this for, I like watching TV and playing with color while I'm watching TV, okay? Now, in this case here, I want to posit the, the option that you don't want to always predict what's going to happen. Like, there's all kinds of unknown things. Like, for instance, this piece of, of, uh, comp, of uh, construction paper has aged, and that's a beautiful color thing. So I think people that are interested in learning about color, they should collect colored paper, okay? All kinds. There's the standard papers. You know, there's some very good papers like this one, which is acid-free, okay? All right. So what this is about is it's a way of looking at the color, okay? It's, and I like the fact that the paper can be broken because these are used sheets in many cases. And I don't, I like the idea that I don't know what's gonna come up. And what's gonna come up is I'll just pick up the paper, okay? And I'll start playing with it. now. When I now my eyes, I'm looking at everything around this surface, not just the paper that I'm, I'm playing with, it's all the way around it. And I'm saying, What happens when I pass these colors over one another? So, color increases the understanding and appreciation and fun. Fun, fun is a big thing here. The fun of working with color increases the more you sensitize your eyes to it, okay? Right? And so when I when I start to move these things around, and I made the board so I could bring at least two sheets worth and have one sheet hanging off the side, this also brings into play the interplay of my right and left eye receiving color and processing it. So it started out as, well, this is fun, I'd like to do this. And then I started to realize that it's actually a very good play and exercise, okay? So what would be the benefit of doing it? The this? benefit of doing this is you start to see colors change. And the more you do it, the more you'll see colors change, okay? Do you mean the color that you're moving or the color that's... The color the all around the surface, because remember, color is completely and entirely relative. It is affected by the colors around it, and it's affected by variables both none, known and unknown about what happens when you, when you move the color around. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm not focusing on the sheet. I'm looking at the whole little array of color, okay? So, nothing super fancy or super overwhelming, but it is a way of seeing unusual and beautiful things. So it really can't be described in words in a way because it's nonverbal, it's your perception, the way your eyes work. It's the way your eyes work. And and so, and these are all I've, I've, I've made, I have circle templates and various things, and I have various things where I have um, different types of sheets. I have clean sheets that haven't been broken, so they're like a solid uh, mass of color, okay? And then I just basically, like I'm looking here at all this little rejectamentia that I'm utilizing in my collages, okay? So I'm looking at that and I'm moving this paper around. And as I do so, my vision gets better. Or if I'm watching TV, I might be watching TV and out of the corner of my eye I'm, sending, I'm seeing this. Because color is not just what you are focusing on. When you say your vision gets better, what do you mean by that? Your, well, I would say the, your color perception gets better. The world becomes more colorful. And if that is a possibility, and that is a great thing. I remember when, when, when I, and this was in 1977, my teacher was saying, and this was a stodgy old guy, he was saying, color is like opium. It's not that he used opium or anything. He was a very, very... Prim and proper individual. But he says color is like an opiate. It just 
It is so enjoyable and so rich. It has so much emotion and so much of everything in it. And I would just like people to become sensitive to the color around them. And this is easy. You so when you're moving it, is it because too in life colors are moving all around us? They are moving all around us. But yeah, that is that. But it's so that I'm looking at this whole thing, this rectangle, loosely. And I'm talking about loose, meaning I'm going out here and I am lightly seeing this. There's seeing, which is like finding a fact. Oh, that's the color of the tree. That's the color of somebody's elbow. That's this, whatever. I'm talking about looking very loosely, very openly, and allowing this beautiful medium to impact what's going on around you. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. So it's an experience. It's an experience. All of color is an experience. There's sometimes logic to color, words that are attached to them, chroma, hue, value. These are words attached to it. And they help make sense of it with an understanding of the color wheel, etc. But yeah. it's also about pleasure and it's about discovery. Can we identify things sometimes through color? So when I see the orange and I think pumpkin. Pumpkin, and, you, know, you know, an orange, You might whatever. see a white pumpkin, but most are orange. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about, as I said before, pre-verbal. Like, let's just experience color. Just experience color. And everybody can have, can have, uh, with, a, with a pile of paper, they can have fun with it and learn. 